Well, let me just kind of give you everything at once. Yes. Um, let's see. You have legal gun parts? I have some anyways. Uh, in case you need the things to make crystal bullets. I really wish the bars were sorted by rarity. <laughs> You know, I've gotten, I, I warmed up more to the search menu after I figured out how to not fall into the plight of not turning it on. <laughs> it was less, less annoying at that point. Here's some crystal darts too, in case we find a dart thrower. Uh, oh right, and I'm the one with the mini shirt. Oh, do you need do you need me to give you a mega shark or other things yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. because I, di I didn't really bother. Yeah. Just getting myself some crystal bullets. Um, mega shark. Make a Drax one at it, but maybe you're already on that. I already made a Drax. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna throw it away. I have my godly Drax here, so <laughs> I'm going to use that instead. I have a godly hollowed repeater just in time for me to replace it. <laughs> Is the Mega Shark strictly better? I think so. I don't... Uh, there, yeah. There most of the just basic crafted ones... Uh... <laughs> the first three things that he gave me were slow, shoddy. <laughs> oh, I should just go for like, probably, is Unreal better than Godly? Uh, you know, I can look this up in like two seconds. Unreal looks pretty strong, so I'm just gonna keep Yeah, that. Unreal, its best modifier is Unreal. Okay. What am but I some missing? things are better if they're legendary, I guess. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Now, I almost wonder if the Mega Shark maybe. Wonder if it'd actually be worth using the Shark Tooth Necklace with it. Ah, uh, given that the attack damage is only thirty-nine, and buffing that by five might be pretty strong. Yeah. Well, given that. Given that all of my things are mobility or... Oh, but I guess I have a ranger emblem, don't I? 15% range damage might not actually be better. Gosh, is but the guide standing can... directly in front of the... Yes. Yep. <laughs> you absolute turd man. Well, at least we have a way to kill the guide whenever we want, so, you know. No wonder we have a graveyard biome. Did you decorate our house with gravestones? Uh, not intentionally. <laughs> they're just all over this house. I think there were like eight graves that I've picked up since this <laughs> start of this session. I have uh, died a number of times. Yes, <laughs> indeed. I mean, it's quite apparent how it could accumulate. Well, I came back here to make something, though. Oh, right, the Avenger Emblem. You, nope. You didn't, I did you didn't, it again. <laughs> you didn't want a um, Avenger emblem, did you? Uh, you know, I actually probably would help. Actually, I have to make it somewhere, don't I? It's not at the anvil. There it is. Oh yeah, it's just twelve percent increased damage, just flat. So. On, where's my warding? <laughs> Quick guarding hard. 
I guess Quick I'm again. coming back there. Jagged arcane spikes. Dang it. <laughs> I've reforged this an actually silly amount of times. There we go. That took huh. longer than I wanted it to. Do, do we think warding is the best one? I mean, I just had, had done that, but... I guess you could go crazy crit damage or something. Yeah, I... Critical I, chance just applies to all weapons, right? Yeah, I just feel like I'm getting half my defense from warding on all of my equipment, so... Yeah. Well, especially because it's a flat bonus. It kind of compounds with itself. There we go. Oh, I might, I might be able to make some armor out of the Souls of Fright and stuff like that. I'm looking at, like, dragon... Dragon, like, greaves or stuff like that. Requires, like, the th four types of stuff plus, like, Soul of... Might. Yeah, I think we can make uh, spectral armor or stuff like that at this point. So maybe I'll go do that. Okay. I'm going to see if I can find the life fruits. I think they spawn at this point. Oh, yeah, because the, the jungle's the next place to go regardless. Yep. Is uh, chlorophyte spawning, though? I mean, is that... We have to beat the boss, I think, to get chlorophyte. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense if... If we've got all the the souls of fright and stuff like that, we can make things out Wait, of them. hold up. We should expect. Nope, there's Chlorophyte. Maybe it's Shroomite that you have to kill uh, the boss for. Okay, okay I'll, I'll just start going for Chlorophyte then. Luckily, Chlorophyte is rather easy to find. It is rather green compared compared to the rest. All right, that's why I can't see anything, and I'm so confused. I haven't drank any of my potions. <laughs> I am. I don't know. So I'm entirely figured. unrelated, just as a topic, seeing as we're kind of in a slow point. Uh, I've, uh, hired one of my friends who's, uh, who part-times as an editor, uh, for, like, videos to do, like, a highlight reel thing. Oh. And it's okay. really weird because I've never been self-conscious of my videos before. <laughs> but now I am. You know, like, okay, maybe a little bit early on. It was just kind of like, yeah, I'm not very good, blah, blah, blah. But this is the first time where I feel like I'm like, oh man, am I actually like good enough to make a highlight reel of, like to hire somebody to do this? And the answer is just like, this is me just being real silly. Um, but just the idea of, of that self-consciousness as a result of, I guess, de facto performance anxiety. Hmm. So does that make it so that like, whether or not, um like, you feel that there are interesting clips someone can draw out of it? Yeah, that... yeah. So, effectively, I threw nine hours of footage at him and told him to make as many videos out of it as he thought w would work. And I just, you know, pay him for whatever his rate is. Yeah. And just have that be kind of a uh, an experiment in seeing, yeah, how would a highly edited, you know, video on Maneater go? How would several? And, you know, just grab the best bits. Uh Okay. 16. Yeah, and I'll yeah. certainly be curious to see how that goes. Uh, I'm, I'm just mostly thrown off in terms of, like, I'm not I'm not used to having somebody examine my content in that manner that I am... I'm not going to say close to, but it's... Well, I mean, yeah, obviously he's a friend. Uh, but it, it was just this, like, really strange... Uh, what? It would be like handing, um... Probably, well, I don't know. How many people have you sent your kind of, like, uh, short story collection thing to? Three? <laughs> you sound pretty blasé about it, so I guess probably not actually anything terribly impactful. 
Well, I mean, I, I've sent it to like an earlier draft of some people. I mean, I guess certainly like um, that we've both been working on it for a while at this point and we've improved it since when we sent it to people. So I think the initial response is I got like 50% of the people were really into it and 50%. Yeah, what I think part of it was that it would lose people. I, I think it assumed certain pieces of knowledge about like stuff that I should not have assumed. <laughs> and so I've been trying to make it more accessible to people as part of it. Um, but, you know, I think part of it is like, for you, this is a profession. And for me, it's more kind of something that I find interesting and compelling, but I haven't specifically made steps to seek as a profession. So I, I suspect it feels very different for you than it feels for me in this circumstance. Although, of course, my, my co-writer would love for it to be a profession, so maybe, <laughs> maybe he feels differently about it. Is there an analogy specifically you wanted to draw for that? No, I guess that was that was just it in terms of like, you know, sending something that you might be uh so for you, yeah, because it is a hobby, maybe it's not so bad. But like for me, uh sending my video to somebody else is actually really strange. Yeah. Um, I guess it it did feel a little bit strange. And I think what was weird was kind of having to deal with like criticism specifically. Um was you know it's something I was used to from like, in particular like, you know what we'll call my my co-writer Obsidian uh, I guess you have a, a screen name they used it off. And certainly he like and I have a lot of criticism that go back and forth. But when you send it to people and you kind of get like more genuine criticism that you know like probably like actual readers would feel. You're kind of like oh that that feels a little different now. It's not quite the same as is receiving this more abstract criticism. And it's more like oh, I just wasn't good enough, I didn't finish it. And you're like, yeah, you know, I can't really blame you for that, but it doesn't feel good to hear that. <laughs> um, yep. But at the same time for this, I mean, you already have an audience, so there's oh, something I know. very different there too than if you were just starting out. But you say if you feel weird about it instead of specifically you feel... I, I think I it's you... just the first time in my entire YouTube career that I can safely say that I've, like, submitted my video for anybody's perusal on a professional level. Like, early on when I was still a hobbyist, there was a, uh... I was part of the Let's Play community on Reddit, and there was a thing that was called, like, Unsucky Sunday. And I waited until I knew I could win before I started submitting, and I won every time that I did submit. And then I stopped because I was like, all right, I've I've achieved the validation that I was looking for. Now it's just a matter of, uh, you know, following through. Yeah. But huh. this is this is just kind of this like odd state because yeah, truly I kind of exist normally in a void. Uh, eh, maybe I mean, not a void, really but effectively. I mean, in many ways, the number of people watching your videos and the comments you get aren't specifically professional, but I guess I would I would think that being professional is not, like, kind of the most important thing much of the time. Oh, true. It's kind of like, it's like entertaining it's really and what, stuff. what people respond to, and that if you're seeing that response, that serves as a, well, it seems like a constant stream of criticism, and in fact, sometimes you've told me it's a little bit hard dealing with <laughs> um, kind of some of the things that can be said on the channel. Let's see, I got a light fruit, by the way. Or a life fruit. Um, I'm going to research oh. it. We need uh, nine more. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I haven't noticed what they look like specifically yet. Do you uh, have a hundred more fight already? Yes. Yeah, so you don't oh. have to look for that. What am I even doing? <laughs> uh, where do they grow? Uh, you want to come back here? Uh, you know, I actually have no idea. I just found one. So I wonder if it's a monster drop. I don't know. Okay. I can look it up quickly, actually. Oh, there's apparently a jungle mimic in the area. Oh. Terrifying. Um. Yeah, but, I mean, I guess, what, why is the professional kind of eye more important than kind of the, the popular fan eye? Hmm... Because the average view duration on a video is 10 minutes. And I'm asking a single human being to watch through nine hours of my footage in detail. 
in such a way that they will have to make a highlight reel of it. You know, condense the best bits down into... Into something. I I guess the easiest example would be like... Ah... Uh, eh, no. no I, I, think I don't I, know. I see that. It's a very different form of engagement. And there's also just in general, asking someone to engage in it rather than presenting it and letting them choose whether or not they engage in it. Yeah, those are those are pretty different. I, I see that <laughs> you could feel pretty differently about them as a result too now. Uh, the, the, the fruits grow in the grass in the jungle. Ah, gotcha. I wasn't paying attention when I just got one of them. Uh, yeah. Mostly right now I'm distracted because I found Plantera's bulb, so I'm just uh, clearing out the arena so we can fight her. Oh, okay. Did... Yeah, I suppose you were distracted. I, I don't know if they show up in this Spelunker potion. I... They do. They I do. believe they do. Oh, okay. It certainly makes it easier. <laughs> Keep an eye out. I can't imagine they're that common. Although I do wonder if they're the sort of thing that shows up more over time. Uh... Maybe it's based on... no. I think they just spawn once. Okay. When, you, uh, when you've when you defeated all three of the mechanical bosses, mm -hmm. then the jungle gets an o a slight overhaul, adds all the chlorophyte, and uh, the life fruits, and maybe some other things. No, I, I do remember hearing that certain things do show up over time in the jungle after you fight the mechanical bosses, so I should, I should verify if that's... Yeah. Because there was something that said, like, you can come back later after some time period or idle or something like that. So, oh, maybe. Maybe I'll look that up previous. Oh, my spawn rate's still at zero, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've set it back up to, to one. And my minions are just destroying uh, all, all the enemies in the area. I... It's the reason why I always went for minion mastery in this game specifically. It's just like, it's kind of hard to just like clear out all the mobs, but having a bunch of attack eyeballs to just like go wreck everything for you, it's kind of nice. Though, yeah. There's certainly something cool about the fact that you can open your inventory without fear. Yeah. But let me tell you, there's Relative something also I'm cool taking... about this flamethrower that I have. <laughs> I've taken some amount of damage. My inventory is mad full. Do you think that this is... I guess it depends on kind of whether or not the content kind of holds up and you like what you see and I guess that people are interested in it. In yeah, I want to experiment... this might be a thing you try and do? So what I was thinking about was that, you know, I do Let's Play videos, long-form stuff, and I don't yeah. think that's going to change. But I record a game for 8, 9, 10 hours, and most people won't be willing to watch more than 10 minutes of that. So if I do the full playthrough and then condense it down into a series of maybe, like the whole series, but also a, a series of highlights as well. Because like every single one of the, the highlight channels that I know has to play through the whole game. Like there's not really a whole lot of shortcuts to recording ah. content without u excessive use of cheat codes. <laughs> I found the uh, the undead merchant is in here. Uh, you want to actually come here just to just to see this this sad man? Okay, let me just figure out what this thing hanging out here is. Is it a ruby? Do I have to, uh... I can just mine it, right? I guess you got an accident. Where is he at? Yep. Is he down here? No, it's, it's this guy right here. Oh. He's blending in a little bit. He's flying? Is he standing on something? He's standing on a single block. He, the, oh. I had forgotten to mine like I missed as I was clearing things out. And he just spawned in like that, just standing there, kind of despondent. Ooh, all these Falunker glow sticks I can now have. I was just amused because... Why? <laughs> why was there suddenly <laughs> the... The, uh... The undead merchant just hanging out in there? He's, yeah, he's really camouflaged there. Um, did we, have we been collecting all the materials to make the Terra Blade? Uh, probably not. Okay. 
I think we need. There's like a sword. You care? For... Like well, I got the Muramasa it's... from the uh, the dungeon, but I don't remember the rest of them. So specifically, the like the zenith, the the best weapon I think in in the game is is really probably the the way to understand it. it requires you to collect all the things for the Terra Blade plus like a lot of other swords. Maybe I don't care. Maybe I'm fine without having it. I wasn't sure if that was a thing you'd want to see or not. Hmm. There are yeah, lots of videos question. of people using it, so I'm not sure it's strictly necessary. Yeah, but I, I care more about completionism in games that I know no one else is going to play or complete. Ah, uh, yes. I think it was more whether or not you wanted to fool around with it, but maybe it's pretty powerful, so it's not exactly the most exciting thing to do a lot of things with. Maybe there's oh. stuff that's still challenging. Maybe you can summon all the bosses and fight them all at once instead of just oh, three. Oh boy. Uh, you know, probably. I wonder what the limit is. You know, I'm just gonna go look up what this life fruit looks like. Oh, I see. It's kind of a little bit of a heart. Nice yellow color. <laughs> I don't think the flamethrower is as good as the... Well, I don't know. No, it's probably not as good as the Mega Shark. But it's kind of fun. It feels very, like, correct for running around a jungle with a flamethrower. Oh, you had given me a Mega Shark. I was really confused why you just, like, bailed without giving it to me, and the answer is no, you had given it to me. It was just not in my inventory. It was in my quick bar, and I couldn't find it because I wasn't oh, paying attention. because you had, like, cleared a bunch of stuff out. Yeah, I was just confused. Did you drop a bunch of cobalt equipment on me? I don't think so. Weird. I just have, like, ancient cobalt armor. And I'm not really sure what that's about. So life fruits spawn continuously in underground jungle. Oh, they do. Cool. So, I mean, if, if we're not finding them, really, it, we could probably bump up the time, or... I guess so. I It's no real rush. We're doing fine without them. Yeah, I mean, mostly if we wanted to fight Plantera first, yeah? Yeah. I was just figuring an extra 100 health does kind of come in handy. Yeah, I mean, are we building those teleporters, though? Uh, let's figure out if we actually need to. We okay. kind of rolled the, uh, the mechanical bosses. Yeah, I feel like journey mode with all of the infinite ammo of all the very powerful guns means that we've got a decent chance of... <laughs> yeah, I was thinking mostly just it's probably the potions. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I guess I didn't play enough to, like, run into issues with the bosses when I was playing on, like, regular mode on Not Expert. I... It's so much easier on okay. regular mode. Yeah. Like, so I, in Expert I, mode. I did a short series on regular mode before Expert mode, and the... I mean, we can even... Here, how about once we're we're done with uh, Plantera Norm... Or, hmm. On Expert, we fight her on Normal? Yeah, maybe. If you use a teleport potion, can it accidentally teleport you into the lizard temple? You know, I honestly have no idea. I'm. We haven't gotten teleport potions on Duke, but I feel like there's a lot of applications for it. Maybe? It's probably not that helpful, but I really want it anyways. <laughs> Ooh, do you want me to go back and check the merchant out? I I'm doing it because okay. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to grab something anyway. I am joyously using my flamethrower in the jungle. That sounds scary dangerous. <laughs> it certainly feels it. There's something like very like against the ecological like, environmental movement by what what we're up to in ter Terraria. I mean, fundamentally, you go, like, digging for stuff. You just, like, 
make this giant pit in the ground, right? Like, there's a lot of, like... There's a lot of stuff you're destroying on the way through this game. I and mean, we've already covered that your character is, like, definitely the bad guy, apparently even according to the developers, but... There's many dimensions to that reality, I think. Okay. Uh, I took a quick detour. I now have a Clintaminator. Ah, very good. Uh, that's just because we've defeated the mechanical bosses. They just sell it now? Yep. Cool. In other news, I'm not finding many of those life crystals. Although I now have enough flares to duplicate those, so... Well, it's, no, it's no immediate rush. Uh, if if we don't if we don't get enough, we'll just come back later. I wonder if they grow more frequently in certain locations, or maybe I'm just missing lots of them. Ooh, I found something called Feral Claws increases melee speed by twelve percent. So that's kind of neat. Right, there's no chlorophytes, uh... There's no chlorophyte summoner set. Uh... Oh. Is there chlorof... Oh, you have clarified stuff, don't you? Yep. Uh, let's see, is it worth it? 15 on the chest piece versus 18. That's pretty good. I, I should probably come back and get chlorophyte gear, shouldn't I? <laughs> yep. Bump. All right. Give me the ore. Thanks. Yup. And the uh, bar is so generous. Yeah. I had spares. <laughs> Journey mood. All about those generosities. Because it costs you nothing. It's true. I want people to believe I'm generous without me actually needing to make sacrifices to... I... Yeah. I've been kind of there this week. Oh, really? Seeing a lot of things going on and just being like, I would do that, but I suck. So I'm just going to stay home oh. and then donate money. Yeah. So I can feel good about myself without having to uh, drive into this city... So I'm not taking public transportation. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a lot of forms of engagement. Yeah. Are you, are you thinking nebulously just of the protests in general? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's it's one of those where it's like, it's a touchy subject. Uh, it's, it's the kind of thing that can absolutely uh, get people to, like, yell at you. And I think when it comes down to it, I get yelled at enough, so I'm never quite, like gung-ho about let's get rid of this squirrel hook finally <laughs> um i'm never i'm never quite that that gung-ho about like putting myself in a position where yet more people are yelling at me for various things yeah. at the same time there are definitely things that like yeah i should probably not just ignore because uh safety security or just being lazy mm -hmm. um yeah now if i, I really think... wanted uh i think certainly I just... like being out there in the protests is one way to show support for that, but I think, I think that that's definitely not the only way. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, I'm almost at Titan potions. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have chlor chlorophyte bullets, by the way? Oh, what do you need for those? Uh, dupe them. Yeah, I guess that's two more damage. Thanks. They also ricochet. Ooh. This sounds like I, what I want. Yep. I think they're ricochet. Do they not? Oh, no. It's homing. It chases after your enemy. Ah, also very good. It's <laughs> stupid good. Is it the demonic chlorophyte? I have a chlorophyte drill. It looks like it's not better than the Drax, right? Uh, the main difference is the range. 
Oh, but like, that minus one. But we have a huge yeah. raid. Because of <laughs> yeah, because we're on journey mode. So who cares? Yeah. I have a legendary glorified claymore to replace this legendary Excalibur. Alright, but do I want to use the Mega Shark with homing bullets? Or the shot bow? <laughs> is there. Is there the equivalent of the. the Magic Quiver, but for a. Um... For a summon? No, no, for bullets. Bees. <laughs> Bees that are extremely fast. Oh, do the bullets not get affected by it? No, the Quiver does not affect them. I guess that makes sense. What is the best thing to get on a Chlorophyte shot, though? Frenzying doesn't feel great. Unpleasant doesn't feel great either. Rapid feels decent. Deadly feels a little bit better, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much. I was also really hoping we'd find the uh, Philosopher's Stone, but no, we gotta go find more Mimics. For that one. Ah. Uh, wait, I thought you said there was a jungle one there. Was there not in the end? I didn't I didn't see it or find it. Um, is it time to go fight Plantera? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna go I just wanted to see if I could replace my magic quiver with something better. Oh. Cause, you know, I can't can't do it. so many things I want to use. <laughs> well. I guess the answer would actually be shark to tooth necklace. Alright. I mean, seems reasonable. I kind of want to use the shot bow with holy arrows, so I, I think I'm going to try and stick with that. Okay. That or the flamethrower. <laughs> There are Chlorophyte uh, arrows as well. Oh, are there? Yep. But Holy Arrows. I'm pretty sure Holy Arrows are better. I'm pretty sure that's what I want, because I want it to be just throwing stars all over the place. They seem to work underground, so... The shot bow, given that it shoots three projectiles, should shoot all the extra stars, according to what I was reading, so... I think that feels promising to me. Hey, by the way, what is the thing above us? Uh, that? That's a derpling. I know where it belongs. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Needs to die. Freaking derplings. There's something so tragic about using flamethrower in this game. I finally worry, found a solution for the, uh, the money trough. Normally, I'm like, I don't need this thing. But the answer is, oh yeah, it's actually pretty useful for holding onto accessories that I've modded up and I don't want to oh, get rid right. of. Oh, right, because accessories are... I guess I've just been keeping them in my vanity slots. I Why My vanity those? slots are full. Oh, I don't think I keep very many accessories. Right. Why don't I just wormhole to you? Oh, this is where we're at. Bango! Well, where did she come from? Uh, left. I'm gonna put on the box. Oh, there we go. This feels unfair. You mean that you 
just kind of run? Oh, I see. She's got little tendrils. Okay. I just the amount of damage that we are sinking into her. And the amount of damage she's doing in return. Okay, that hurt a bit. Now she's mad. If you don't mind, I'm just going to let you just deal with stuff over there. I'm just going to stand on this convenient thing and just rain stars down. Okay, this actually oh, hits real bad. Oh, mini minigun, I just don't even need to... I'm dead. Oh. I'll be back in 20 something seconds. I think we needed a bigger arena. I was feeling that personally. But alas, mm. there's this nice minecart track that I can just go down. So it's kind of kind of up to that right now. I'll be back in eight seconds. I assume she just follows me indefinitely, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get to the end of this minecart track and die. <laughs> you go that way. Fix that problem. Actually, the thing I'm primarily thinking of as I use this flamethrower is space balls and yogurt with the space balls flamethrower. I, you know, I haven't seen space balls in years, so I'm kind of blanking on that. <laughs> It's, I would hazard, there are a few good moments in Spaceballs, and there are many not quite as good moments in Spaceballs. And I would say it's one of the good ones. 